So just the other day, I was talking to a friend of mine and he told me that he was going to comedy school. And I said, comedy school? What? I didn't even know that was a thing. So I'm making this video because I want to help you guys save some money. And in turn, I'm going to get a lot of subscribers. Who am I? My name's Adrian. All my friends consider me funny. Friends that are girls that are that know me, they consider me pretty funny. Hence why I'm single. <laughs> so today, if you'd like to not be in a relationship and just be a funny guy, I'm going to teach you how to be funny. So these are actually like a commandments that I live by. And I don't see a lot of videos on YouTube that mention these. So I figured I'd chime in and, you know, introduce a couple new methods that really help you become funnier. The first thing that you want to learn is to have characters. What do I mean? Well, suppose you're talking to somebody and, well, you might want to add some characters. So you could be like, oh my God, you want to be energetic and all that. That's how they know that you're telling a joke, right? It's the old Rufaru. I don't know. Oh my God, um, is anybody here vegan? Literally, just anything in general, just have some characters. That'll make you funnier, I promise. Let's say you're talking about a, I don't know, let's say a Karen, right? You, you work at retail, you meet a Karen, you're telling your friends about how bitchy she is. So you tell her, oh, you know, I can't believe this, this girl, right? This, this girl, she said she had diabetes and shit. And then all of a sudden, you know, she tells me she can't wear a mask because she got diabetes or some shit. She, she got depression apparently. And so she was like, I can't even like wear a mask. It's so hard to breathe. Yeah. So stuff like that, it adds to the dimension to your story and how to be funny. Make sense? Number two, don't be afraid to commit. So one thing that I see from people when they want to be funny is they're afraid to commit to a joke. Let's say it's a joke that requires you having to look bad. We're going to go over this a little bit more. You kind of have to commit to the joke. Does that make sense? So for example, the other day, there was a sign, a drawing on the wall of a guy with a small dick and he goes, and this is actually a true, true story, I swear. Uh, I, you know what? I'm gonna show you guys a picture of it. <laughs> I do have a picture of it. Damn, son. Why does this guy have a small dick? And my reply was, it's a, I thought it was normal. You see? Because it's implying that I have a small penis too. You know, I'm Asian. That's what I mean by don't be afraid to commit. It doesn't matter if uh, it makes you look bad. That's the art of comedy. Number three, be expressive. As you can tell how I am, this is just me. I'm very expressive. Oh my God, you know. But here's the thing, another tip, if you're not naturally expressive or you're not naturally energetic, don't be that guy that tries to be the energetic guy when you're not actually energetic because it comes off as fake and people know when you're faking it. Does that make sense? But be expressive if you are very naturally energetic. Look at me, I'm, I'm like that, the wacky inflatable tube man, you know? See, don't be afraid, ooh, look, ooh. It's funny, right? You're probably laughing. Yeah, I'm, I'm assuming so. That's okay though. I just want to make sure that came off really cocky. Just want to make sure it's okay if you're not laughing. Chances are you're probably taking notes. So take notes. You're going to save yourself a lot of money. You don't have to go to comedy school because that's the biggest joke of, of them all. Just like I mentioned earlier, number four, just like I mentioned earlier, be confident with your body. Now, I'm not going to go over how to be confident in all that stuff. That's apparently, you know, I'm not a fucking doctor. That's where therapists and all that shit comes into play. But I'm just saying, if you are confident with your body and with yourself, magical things happen, okay? You become funnier because just like I mentioned about the small dick, you're not afraid to say things that, well, that might offend people and that might look, make you look bad. It doesn't matter because at the end of the day, you're doing it because you want to be funny. So... There you go. Welcome. That's one of my secrets. I know and I get it. It's easier said than done. It's easier said than done. And well, it's not my job to tell you how to be confident. I'm just telling you that's one thing that, that you know, that you need to be funny. It's just be confident. You know, sorry. Okay. I can't help you there. <laughs> now, this is one thing that I don't see that's going to be like fucking, it's going to be incredible. The fifth tip that I have in how to be funny is to know when to stop. We all know that guy that does not know. He wants to be funny. The difference is, is that he does not know when to stop, right? Like, you don't want to be like talking to a guy and he's telling you like, oh man, my, my mom just got diagnosed with cancer. And you're like, well, 
It could have been worse. It could have been a Republican. You know, you don't want to, you know what I mean? Know when to stop. Yeah, it's like, just know when the tone gets serious, then stop being funny. Because if not, then you'll come off as annoying. And I don't want that happening to you, sir. Because I, I like you guys. You guys are my subscribers. So don't do that, please. Know when to stop. Very important that not too many people talk about. It's very important. Next up, number six, copy from, number six, copy from OG comedians. Chances are, a lot of the comedians that you know now, they're probably a big fan of original comedians. So people like Don Rickles, Rodney Dangerfield, I get no respect at all, you know. That kind of comedian, follow their style, and, uh, and it's very important. Okay, another tip that I have, and I did not write this on my notebook, but I just came up with it right now. Copy a comedian that you feel fits close to your personality, right? You don't want to be copying Kevin Hart when you're naturally an introvert, right? It's going to be really difficult. So it doesn't have to be somebody that you like. It could just be somebody that you think you can impersonate. Then try to copy that. After that, once you get good at copying, then you don't copy. You know what I mean? Like just know the basics. That's basically what this whole exercise is. Copy and then you don't copy because you have your own thing, you know. I don't want to see no Amy Schumer up in here. Like, like I get it, you know, but your vagina jokes, you just don't do that. I'm just saying, find a comedian that you like that fits your personality and then copy that so that one day you get, once you get the basics and you're finally saying some jokes, then you get to do your own thing, you see? That's a little tip that I just came up with right now. And that's true though. That's what I do. And that's, I'm naturally energetic, as you can tell. So number seven, enjoy it. Part of me being funny, the reason why I'm funny and I'm telling people jokes, I genuinely love doing it. So it doesn't matter if, you know, I'm sick. It, it makes my day when I'm sad and then I tell people jokes and then it makes them happy because it makes, like, I love telling people jokes. So you got to be able to, to enjoy it. Part of the reason why I became funny and all that is because when I was young, I've always wanted to do magic. I was, uh, I love David Blaine, Chris Angel because I love the reactions of people when I do my magic. And I really love just, you know, making people's day. And then one day I made somebody laugh and I was like, oh, it's just like a magic trick, you know? So this is in sixth grade. And so ever since then, I've just wanted to be funny. I gave up magic and well, here we are. So that's basically my little life story there. And it also helps with bullies. So I'm just saying, you make, you make your bully laugh, they're gonna like you and you don't get bullied anymore. Trust me, personal experience. Last but not least, number eight, practice. Uh, it's, it's no secret that comedy is a skill and believe it or not, it's I've been, you know, I'm, I started being funny when I was in sixth grade and I feel like I've really honed down on my, just who I am and being the funniest version of me. Like literally just like two years ago, I, was already like, you know, kind of hilarious, like funny, but I wasn't like, like making everybody laugh. And it wasn't until like, you, it's just being like, the thing about comedy is that it's like learning how to make music. You, it's a thing that's like, sense of humor is like, there's a beat to it that it just, it's, it's a weird thing because just like good music, you know what it is, you know what it sounds like. Comedy, it just, there's so many ways to be funny. That's why when you go to comedy school, they can't really teach you how to be funny because comedy in and of itself is about, you know, it's, there's just so many ways, like Mr. Bean, it's a lot of physical, like, you know, like that. And literally the only thing you can do is just practice over time. So I, it must've been already like 15 years since I've been funny and I'm still learning. It's, it's not an easy art. Just do know that, like, it, it really is. I'm, and I'm being dead serious, okay? I know when to stop, like I said. And comedy, I feel like it's, a, it's one of those art that's very beautiful. I love comedy for what it can do for people. So I'm always gonna practice it. And you know, 15 years might sound like a long time, but it's not like something, like I've been, I'm just staring at a wall while practicing. You know, you talk to your friends, you practice being funny, you just do that. You don't wanna always, you know, that's how you practice basically. So just do know that it's gonna be a long journey but if you gen, if you, I can never fucking say this word, God damn it. If you genuinely love doing it, it is gonna go by quick. Trust me, I still remember when I learned to be funny 
And since then, I've literally been practicing, you know. Yeah, if I can insert Rocky fucking sequence, you know. <laughs> but all jokes aside, it's a great little hobby that I do. It's, it's like magic trick without any of the props that I have. To, I don't have to do any of that. It's great when you get a laugh. It's even better when you make somebody crack up. Yeah, I hope uh, this video helped you out. So I'm, yeah, I'm surprised that not too many people give this tip out, but I feel like these are tips that are very important. This is something that I like to live by 15 years later. It's a beautiful art form. And you know, these are like my little commandments that not too many people know. So now you know, save yourself the money. Don't go to comedy class, practice with your friends, have fun and enjoy. Hope this video helped you guys out. And if it did, don't forget to hit like, comment, and subscribe. If you made it to the end of the video, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. I hope you guys like this lighting setup. It's a very, it, I spent a lot of money on this shit because I used to have this crap and it just wasn't doing anything. So enough rant. I'm gonna end this video. Have a great day and stay funny guys. Peace. Mind trick, look, ah, that's my little Chris Angel thing.